What's going on everybody? Dato Doi here with a lot of information for you today. We've got leaks, updates, new game releases, and more, so this has just been an insane couple of days. Let's not waste any time and jump right into the leak portion of this, which is what I care most about. So a few days ago on one of my live streams, one of you guys asked me if I would be covering Soul Calibur 6, and my reaction to that was maybe. But if this leak turns out to be true, then that is shifted to a definite yes, as Zoro has been leaked to be playable in Soul Calibur 6. I'm not even that much of a One Piece fan, but my favorite character in that show is Zoro by far, so if he's in the game, I will definitely be checking it out and learning a ton of combos, and you can expect to see some of that on this channel. The next piece of news we have is also for Soul Calibur 6, but I'm not even sure if you can call this a leak. It also has to do with another guest character for Soul Calibur 6, and this time it's about Geralt from the Witcher series. Now it makes a lot of sense, Geralt would be a pretty good pick for this game as it is a weapons-based fighter. And also somebody connected to the game tweeted out that wouldn't, wouldn't it be cool if Geralt would step out of the world of the Witcher for the first time and make an appearance in another game? Now, I, I highly doubt a character like Geralt will make it into Smash Brothers, so it's probably going to be Soul Calibur 6, and if so, I think that's pretty cool. The Witcher 3 is a pretty popular game, and the Soul Calibur series suits him nicely. But let's move back into the anime news sphere, as we have a rumor that a new JoJo 2.5D fighting game could be on its way. Now, this is insane. A lot of JoJo fans out there are going to be super happy to hear this, as this leak states that a new JoJo fighter is on its way, and it will look something like Dragon Ball Fighters, which is one of those things that just sounds too good to be true. So remember, this is a leak, along with everything else in this game, except for maybe the Witcher thing, which I think has a very high chance of happening. And the last piece of news for you all today is something that I'm sure you already know about, and that being that there's either a new Smash Bros coming to the Switch, or it's a port of Smash 4 with new characters. So far, people are assuming that the Inklings are going to be playable characters as they were the ones shown in the trailer that was kind of like a bait and switch before the Smash thing came up. If you're a fan of Smash, I'm sure you're insanely happy with this. And if you're a fan of Twitter, I'm sure a lot of people are blowing your timeline up with this. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of competitive Smash Brothers, I know there's a lot of overlay between the people that watch my stuff and the people that like Smash, so I thought I'd bring it to you guys anyway. And when it does come out, I'll probably have some footage on that as well. Alright, that's pretty much all that's been happening for the past couple of days. Sorry I didn't upload yesterday as I'm a little sick right now. But I do want to update you all, I do have a Twitch channel that you can follow if you want to see more live streams from me. Make sure you guys let me know what you think of all this down in the comments, whether you think the Zoro thing is true or whether you think the Jojo thing is true, and your thoughts on Geralt coming to Soul Calibur 6, and let me know if you were hyped by that Smash trailer. I'll be down in the comments as always. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.